Book Two, The Missing Piece Meets the Big O, by Shel Silverstein. For Joan. The missing piece sat alone. waiting for someone to come along and take it somewhere. Some fit, but could not roll. Others could roll, but did not fit. One didn't know a thing about fitting, and another didn't know a thing about anything. One was too delicate. One put it on a pedestal and left it there. Some had too many pieces missing, and some had too many pieces, period. It learned to hide from the hungry ones. More came. Some looked too closely. Others rolled right by without noticing. It tried to make itself more attractive. It didn't help. It tried being flashy, but that just frightened away the shy ones. At last, one came along that fit just right. But all of a sudden, the missing piece began to grow. And grow. I didn't know you were going to grow. I didn't know it either, said the missing piece. Bye. I'm looking for my missing piece, one that won't increase. <sighs> and then one day, one came along who looked different. What do you want of me? asked the missing piece. Nothing. What do you need from me? Nothing. Who are you? asked the missing piece. I am the big O, said the big O. I think you are the one I've been waiting for, said the missing piece. Maybe I am your missing piece. But I am not missing a piece, said the big O. There is no place you would fit. That is too bad, said the missing piece. I was hoping that perhaps I could roll with you. You cannot roll with me, said the big O. But perhaps you can roll by yourself. By myself? A missing piece cannot roll by itself. Have you ever tried? asked the big O. 
But I have sharp corners, said the missing piece. I am not shaped for rolling. Corners wear off, said the big O, and shapes change. Anyhow, I must say goodbye. Perhaps we will meet again. And away it rolled. The missing piece was alone again. For a long time, it just sat there. Then, slowly, it lifted itself up on one end and flopped over. Then, lift, pull, flop, it began to move forward. And soon its edges began to wear off. Lift, pull, flop, lift, pull, flop, lift, pull, flop. And its shape began to change. Lift, pull, flop, lift. Flop, and then it was bumping instead of flopping. Lift, pull, flop, lift, pull, flop. And then it was bouncing instead of bumping. Lift, pull, flop, lift, pull, flop. And then it was rolling instead of bouncing. And it didn't know where. And it didn't care. It was rolling. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here is your assignment. In small groups, you are now small companies, small publishing companies. You have just enough money to publish one book, The Missing Piece, or The Missing Piece Meets the Big O but you cannot publish both books. You can only choose one. One book will become world famous and be published in many languages. The other book will never be seen again. As a group, as a small company, which book do you choose to publish and why? Choose a spokesman for the group to stand up and tell the class what the group thinks. <laughs>